SVC syndrome is a condition caused by the obstruction of the superior vena cava. SVC plays a vital role in facilitating blood flow from the upper body to the heart. The hallmark symptoms of SVC syndrome include facial swelling and shortness of breath. Facial swelling can serve as an early indicator of SVC syndrome. Shortness of breath results from compromised blood flow and requires immediate attention. Venous distension, manifested through swelling of the neck and upper chest, provides diagnostic clues. Headaches and lightheadedness are also common. Symptoms of SVC syndrome usually evolve over time gradually. This slide shows SVC syndrome in a person with bronchogenic carcinoma. Note the swelling of his face first thing in the morning and its resolution after being upright all day. Malignant tumors, such as lung cancer, most commonly small cell carcinoma, and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, most commonly diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, are the primary causes of SVC syndrome. These tumors can compress the superior vena cava, leading to obstruction. Non-malignant causes of SVC syndrome are often due to the increased use of intravascular devices. Thrombosis resulting from these devices can lead to obstruction. Uncommonly, infectious diseases like syphilis and tuberculosis can cause SVC syndrome. Pemberton's sign, also known as Pemberton's maneuver, is a clinical test used to assess for SVC syndrome. During the test, the patient raises both arms above their head for one minute. If this maneuver leads to facial flushing, bluish skin discoloration, or difficulty breathing, it may indicate obstruction of the superior vena cava. Chest x-rays are used as a foundational tool in the initial assessment of SVC syndrome. They provide insights into mediastinal widening and potential causes. Some patients with SVC syndrome may present with normal chest x-rays, posing a diagnostic challenge. A comprehensive understanding of the syndrome's presentation is necessary to overcome this challenge. CT scans play a vital role in diagnosing SVC syndrome, complementing chest x-rays. Enhanced with contrast, these scans provide a comprehensive view of the affected areas and reveal the extent of disease progression. Advanced diagnostic approaches, such as transbronchial needle aspiration and mediastinoscopy, offer valuable insights into the underlying causes of SVC syndrome. The treatment of SVC syndrome includes drug therapy and surgical interventions tailored to address the underlying causes and relieve symptoms. Glucocorticoids, such as prednisone and methylprednisolone, reduce the inflammatory response associated with SVC syndrome. Their efficacy depends on the tumor's responsiveness to steroid treatment. Diuretics, such as furosemide, alleviate pressure by reducing venous return to the heart. In select cases, endovascular stenting provides swift resolution to SVC syndrome symptoms. This interventional procedure has minimal associated risks. Endovascular stenting involves inserting a small, flexible stent into the obstructed area of the superior vena cava. The stent helps to widen the vein and restore blood flow. Radiation therapy plays a vital role in providing symptomatic relief for SVC syndrome patients. It alleviates symptoms and improves patients' quality of life. In cases of SVC syndrome, it is generally advisable to avoid administering intravenous fluids or medications through the upper limbs whenever possible. This is because the obstruction in the SVC can impede blood flow from the upper body back to the heart. If intravenous fluids are administered through the upper limbs, it could exacerbate the swelling and pressure in the veins, potentially leading to further complications. In conclusion, the symptoms of SVC syndrome are usually relieved with radiation therapy within one month of treatment. However, even with treatment, the prognosis for SVC syndrome is poor. Most patients die within two and a half years. This relates to the cancerous causes of SVC.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.